Hi, in this video I'm going to be talking about how to um, manipulate your TI-84 calculator to graph um, to, to graph a line or a curve whenever it just involves really big numbers. Okay, so we have a word problem here. From 1994 to 2003, the average salary, which is in thousands, S is in thousands of dollars, so how many thousands of dollars is a Major League Baseball player making? And it can be modeled by this equation here they've given us. It's a cubic equation, right? Third degree equation, polynomial. Um, and, uh, and so we know it's going to be an S curve. And T here is the number of years since 1994, okay? So we want to find intervals for the horizontal and vertical axes that describe a good viewing window. So this is not about solving. We're not asked to do anything except graph it and get it to show up on our calculator. And we are going to use the table feature of our graphing calculator to help with this. Now, first things first, if we're graphing this from 1994 to 2003, we have to figure out really how many years are we talking about, okay? So T is the number of years since 1994. So a zero would represent 1994 itself because that's zero years since 94. And 2003, if we count it upward, okay, so 94 would be year zero, 1995 would be one year, so a t-coordinate of one, 96 would be two years, 97, 98, 99, 2000, 2001, 02, 03. 2003 would be 10 years since 1994. And so here's what we know, first of all. This is going to be the table feature, and we're only going to graph x coordinates. When we go graph this on our calculator, we're going to replace t with x, okay? And it's going to be the coordinates of 0 to the coordinate of 10 that we're really interested in, okay? And we got that from the word problem because we're saying, we're looking at this and saying, look, that's years, 0 years to 10 years out from 1994, okay? Now the problem is, is when we go graph it, you're going to see that the graph doesn't appear. Okay, so let me switch over here to our graphing calculator. And when I go y equals, and you'll notice that I've typed in the equation already, I've replaced the t with an x, and the s is now our y, right? The salary is equal to negative 4.1 t cubed, all that stuff, right? It's already in there, trust me, okay? And when I go to graph it, most of the time, you guys will graph it, and this is what's going to appear. That's the standard zoom window, which goes from negative 10 to 10 negative 10 to 10, height wise as well, okay? Uh, nothing's on here, okay? Um, so here's what I would do. If this is me, I've learned from experience that I'm going to go and I'm going to use the table. And if I go use the table, what I'll notice here is that my values for my y coordinates, well, no wonder they're not appearing because it only goes up to 10 and my y coordinates are up in the thousands, right? So if I just use the table and I start scrolling through, I notice that I'm up at 1,100. Now I'm up almost up to 2,000, 2,400, 2,600. Oh, look at that. It peaks out here at 2,600. And so now I know then that my Y coordinates are way up here in the 2,600, so I need to set a window that gets at least that high, right? And I'm only going from X coordinates of 0 to 10. So when I go to window, my X coordinates would be 0 to 10 because those are the only years that my model here it says are correct from 94 to 2003 that's the only years that I can really use this equation otherwise it's not accurate but now and this by the way x scale stands for how far between tick marks if you don't change this it's not going to affect your graph at all so the scale you never really need to worry about what I'm concerned about is this my my values for y y min stands for how low and y max stands for how high do you want to go in your graph I don't care about negative values because I'm going to assume that baseball players are always making money. And based on that table, I know that my maximum Y value, I need to go up to at least 2,600. So let's, you know, say like 3,000 or something, right? That would be at least, uh, well over 2,600. I just need to pick a value here that's going to get as least as high as the Y coordinates that I saw on the table here. As far as the scale for the Y goes, if I don't change this, it means I'm going to have 3,000 tick marks. It's not going to affect the graph, but it's going to look weird. So I'm going to go ahead and change it to like maybe 300. So that way I have 10 tick marks, right? And now when I graph it, instead of having that blank window, aha, I see everything on there, right? So there is a graph from 1994 to 2003, and I get all of the salaries and thousands of dollars that appear for these Major League Baseball players. Now we're not asked to solve for anything. That wasn't the point of the problem. It's just to set a good viewing window. So I come over here, and to answer this question, it would be maybe zero, to 3,000 would be an appropriate window. As long as you get 2,600, you know, 2,600 would be fine for that second one too. But hopefully that helps. That gives you an idea of how I can use that table feature in order to figure out where I need to graph for my line to appear. 